Want to know how to get your hands on custom spear guns like these made right here in New Zealand? Stay tuned for the upcoming video. Okay, welcome back to another video everybody. I am Sam Price from Oxys Enterprises and this video right here is about custom spear guns. Now for those of you out there into your spearfishing, you would know of course, without a gun, spearfishing is useless. Now with how important a gun is to your spearfishing, I view a customized item to your specs is very important to the success of your spearfishing career. Throughout the better part of 2018, I was dabbling in gun models, different sizes, different lengths, and I felt there was a hole in the market here, especially in New Zealand, which not just for big blue end, um, ultra expensive wooden guns, but also the shorter ranges. Now, one, we're talking 100s, 110s, things like that, double rubbers, pl packing plenty of punch for around the reef, day-to-day -day use. Now, I've heard the, the problem before is got people don't want to spend like a thousand bucks on a gun that they're going to use once or twice a year. So here we are. I'm going to show you a couple little custom items, um, basically made specifically for the user and for the person who's going to be ultimately pulling the trigger on this day in, day out. Okay, this one right here. This one here was made for my girlfriend, Danny. It's a little 95. It's made from Jarra, which is an Australian hardwood. Um, blue tinted epoxy resin finished. It looks bloody good. All Neptonics mix. Um, it's got a pathos shaft in it. It goes bloody well. Packs a lot of punch. We've got two 14 mil rubbers off a of 100 just so she can load it. Um, great little shaft, uh, uh, great little shaft, great gun, great everything on it. Double wraps, so it's still got plenty of range, plenty of punch. 7 mil shaft, um, something like that is basically was made specifically for her to be small enough for her to move around the reef and easy enough to load while still packing a punch. And blue is her favorite color, so we've just got a basic blue epoxy finish. Um, it's not a solid blue, like it's not a paint. You can still see a little bit of wood grain through it. I think it looks pretty cool. Now this one right here, while it doesn't look like much right now, looks like a square block of wood, because that's pretty much what it still is. This is going to be a big 130 double or triple rubber, rubber uh, blue water gun for myself. Now this right here is all a Roco, and it's also got multiple layers of fiberglass around all sides, which will then be milled off, and we're going to get the holes in it, shape it all up, and basically what the whole idea is here is making super strong um, stocks while still be maneuverable through the water. Okay, and this one right here. Now this was what I originally had in mind for the guns. Oroco stocked, um, actually has fiberglass inlays and in all the laminates. You'll be able to see in person or up close um, that there's a line. I'm actually gonna move away from those laminated glass layers and put them on the outside just to give them a bit of aesthetic change as well as still making um, them very very strong. These will be incredibly strong gun stocks and they'll also be very hard wearing because of the fiberglass on the outer layer. This one actually right here uh, has a 6.7mm shaft, it is a 110, has two 14mm rubbers, Neptonics gear, yet to be rigged because it's sort of up to the person who buys it if they want regular mono or Dyneema, but this one right here is available nationwide in New Zealand for 690 bucks. And just one last option for what's coming through the shop right now. This one right here is a 130, will be a double rubber, kind of set up a lot like a, say, a Rife Euro 130. Again, incredibly strong. This is the fiberglass inlays between the laminates. You can just see the line a bit easier to see in person than on video. But something like this would be a great blue water option while still possibly uh, being potentially just small enough for sort of more day-to-day -day use. Now the plan here originally was to run a confirmed model or two, um, which I'm kind of straying away from because I really enjoyed put, adding a bit of color and a little bit of difference to all of these guns. So if they do sound uh, a little bit like you, whether you're after a blue water, like a reef dwelling gun, a little 90, like whatever it is you want, you can, you can run multiple rubbers, we can run, run a big shaft. You can pretty much pick and choose, you can pick and choose colors, we can color them um, pretty much any color. We can color the stock up, sort of like this blue one here. So if you are interested and would like to know um, feel free to get in touch with me via this YouTube channel my emails down below um, you can of course buy that 110 which will be up on the online shop for you to purchase I am Sam Price I will see you at the beach